All right, this is video number two. Today I'm taking apart this Pokemon Soul Silver. It's loose. You can hear it rattling. Now the new ones apparently, uh, I mean the actual games themselves, apparently they do become loose after a while. I was worried about this one. Uh, it was played. It is actually the real deal. There's nothing wrong with it. The white buttons, everything's in in line with the grooves themselves. Patent pending, you know it's there, but it's not like the fake ones where it's a large indention. The numbers are correct, all the letters are correct, the style and font are correct, the size of the E is smaller, the fake ones actually have a bigger one, and then uh, it's more blue here on the fake soul silvers. Now today you're going to need, again, a spudger. You're going to need some glue. If you're not really that great with it, don't use this. <laughs> I mean, it's super glue for crying out loud. But I know nothing's wrong with the game. I played it. It's good to go. All I need to do now is just write a review on the guy, the guy's site that I actually bought it from. All right, so we're starting the grooves. You want to be careful not to break it. I've done this a couple times, but... Whenever you're dealing with plastic, you don't know what somebody else used, if they opened it up already or not. You never know, really. So I'm just carefully going around the edges. You want to work carefully with these things. Again, plastic, you know, has a habit of breaking when it comes to metal. And you don't want to damage the inside microprocessor and the rest of the cartridge parts. All right, so you see I'm going around very carefully. I'm not forcing it. I'm not rushing it. The inside, nothing's wrong with it, just the light glaring off of it. I'll show it to you sideways very carefully with, without too much glare. All right. Now, take a look at the actual cartridge itself on the inside. I'll try to not to, not to have it with too much glare. Bring it as close as I can. Sorry, I'm going off a uh, smartphone. You see, nothing's really wrong with it other than a few minor little chips. I mean, uh, scratches. There's nothing wrong with this. Nothing wrong with this either. Generally, these are one use. So you can buy these online. Uh, I saw a company. I can't remember the name of it, but they have blue, pink, red, yellow, orange. I think they had orange. And they have the standard white and the standard blacks. You can get replacement um, labels. However, at the bottom right here, it will say replacement. So if you're selling it, somebody may get upset about that. But you can't please everybody. It is what it is. On my other video, I did not show this part. This time I'm going to. I'm going to try to be as careful as I can and not look like a complete idiot. So here we go. I'm just using the excess that's on the side. I'm not going all ridiculously crazy with it. God, this stuff smells like crap. Now, you can use other types of glue. You can use how much glue for crying out loud. But since I'm not going to be opening these up again for the foreseeable future. Oops, sorry about that. I'm too damn high. My bad. But uh, since I'm not going to be opening up these in the foreseeable future, I'm using this type of glue intentionally. It has good bonding, good hold against plastic. Just be careful not to you know, get it all over yourself or clean it up with as. Oh, put too much. Fuck. See, it does happen. <laughs> like a damn moron on camera. Oh well, I guess it is what it is. Okay. Get off here. Alrighty. Look at which way it's facing. This back inside, just drop it in, line it up, it's on. Didn't get any of my fingers, thankfully. Now, 
You can see the edges. It's not perfectly lined up yet. Slide it into place. One corner at a time, try not to touch and get yourself stuck with the, with the glue. This corner looks like I'll pull it. Get my splodger real quick. Looks like I crapped out that corner a little bit. I got the extra piece off. I'm gonna have to use a little bit of this. Okay. And again, you wanna get it tight. Just to make sure there's a good seal. Go around all the way. You can see there's a little tiny bit on the one corner right here where I did that. So I'm gonna have to clean that off before it sets. I don't know if you can see it. Hold on, let me try to, you know, see what's real glossy in the middle? There was a little bead on the right side, right in front of my finger right now, literally. So I'm gonna have to clean that off, but it's good to go. This will fit in, it'll slide in and play, but I'm not gonna do it right now because of course it's not dry yet. And I uh, hope this helps you out. Now remember, this will make it less shakable you won't hear anything anymore, literally. It doesn't matter where you hold it, you're not going to hear anything. All right, have a great day.